Hi guys, welcome back to my channel Lush Gardener. In today's video, I wanted to reiterate on certain things related with succulents because I do see or I do read a lot of uh, messages on Instagram wherein people are still struggling with a lot of succulents. Now, if you have been following my channel for a very long time, you might have come across or you might have seen that I tend to give a lot of in-depth or in-detail knowledge about succulents because every small little detail does matter a lot when you're growing succulents. It's not about just taking your succulent and putting it into the soil. There are a lot of other factors also that are involved in growing your succulents healthy. So after talking to a lot of people for a couple of years now, it's been a very long time that I've been growing succulents and I've been interacting with a lot of people. Now, the most common thing what I have seen is when I tend to interact with people, the most important thing that uh, people tend to miss out is planning. A lot of people buy succulents, they tend to go online, they see succulents and they buy succulents right away. They do not do a pre-planning. Pre-planning is the most important thing. For example, if you're about to buy succulents, let's say one succulent or two succulents or three succulents for that matter, the succulents are going to take a while to come before buying succulents because you know that you are about to purchase succulents. So why not pre-plan things? You have already made up your mind to buy succulents. Before buying succulents, ensure that you have your other things in place. For example, the most important thing that is the soil mix. Do you have the soil mix ready? Are you planning to purchase the soil mix? If you're planning to purchase the soil mix, first purchase the soil mix and then go ahead and buy succulents. Do you have enough pots? If you do not have enough pots, order for more pots and then go ahead and buy succulents. So these are the two important things that is pots and soil. They have to be already available with you before your succulents reach to you. This is something that I have seen wherein a lot of people tend to lack. After buying the succulents is that's when they start preparing the soil mix or they then order the soil mix. They don't have enough pots. They try to put the succulents in some random pots and then wait for the pots to arrive. Remember guys, all of these things do add up. It tends to look like it's not going to be a big deal, but it is definitely a big deal. So always plan in advance what you want to do. Now, the most common or I would say the biggest hurdle or challenge that we face is the environment. Not everyone is going to have a pleasant environment. A lot of people have temperatures that are very high or temperatures that are very low. Now, unfortunately, we as humans can't do much about the environment that is constant. We can't change the environment that is outdoor. So when the temperatures are very high or when the temperatures are very low, the best what we can do is move the succulents indoor. If you do not receive a lot of direct light or if you do not receive a lot of light indoor, then you'll have to set up a good quality of grow light. Now that is being taken care. But the most important thing and that is the soil mix. We do not have the soil mix ready. And I have seen a lot of times people buy the succulents later on. They either start making the soil mix or they start purchasing the soil mix once the succulent has already come in. So during this entire process, the succulent does get hampered. Uh, remember, the moment the succulent comes to your place, it should start to acclimate and adjust in its environment. It should not get delayed. The more faster your succulent tends to get acclimated and adjusted in your environment, the more stronger the succulent will be as time passes. Now, what I have seen is what some people do is they buy the succulent. The succulent has already reached home. Now they tend to ask others what soil should they prepare for their succulent. This is a completely uh, wrong way of growing succulents. So what happens in this case, you have not planned things in advance. Now that your succulents are at home, you do not have the soil mix. What you tend to do is you temporarily put the succulent in some random soil or in some random pot. Now what's going to happen is the succulent does not know that you are going to repot the succulent. You are going to change the soil mix. The moment the soil comes in contact with the roots, once the succulent is inside the soil, the roots are inside the soil, the succulent will start getting acclimated. It will start its process of getting adjusted and acclimated in the new environment. Whether that soil mix is good or not, that doesn't matter. But the succulent has already started to acclimate in the new environment. Now, what happens next? You receive your soil mix or you have already made your soil mix. Now you again go ahead and uproot the succulent and you put it in the, the new soil. So now this entire process wherein the succulent was getting adjusted in that regular soil that you had put. Now that you have taken out the succulent and put it into the new soil, the entire process is going to start all over again. Now in this process, there could be chances that the succulent will have a shock. Probably the succulent might not do quite well. 
probably it was already getting adjusted and now that you have disturbed it it has to again go through that entire stressful process now with the second transplanting probably the succulent did not go in shock the first time this time it might get into a shock or it might have a root rot or maybe the roots are not able to form the second time probably it was trying to put out roots in the first go but now again it has to go through the entire process so anything can go wrong so your first step itself is gone completely wrong it's completely messed up uh, the process where the succulent had to get stronger by getting adjusted and acclimated in the new environment the succulent was already disturbed twice so we need to understand the succulents tend to come through a transit period which could be either three days four days or a week depending upon how soon the courier comes to you so they have already been through that entire stressful process of being inside a box enclosed inside a box with limited air circulation complete darkness and now when it had come home it was open it was kind of getting acclimated in the new environment and you again went ahead and reported it so as you can see it is going to create a lot of issues so guys what i would advise so what is the best thing what you can do as i said you will have to pre-plan things in advance keep all your things ready even before the succulents can come to you now there is a process what you can do especially for people who are just starting off with succulents and are not very aware about how to make soil mix so i'll give you a quick tip it's called as the soil test method now this can take around one to two weeks uh, so you have enough time before you purchase the succulents it'll just take two weeks of your time and you can make your soil mix now what are the things that you need to check now i've already made a detailed video on it if you haven't watched i'll put the link in the description below you can check the entire detailed video but here i will give you a little bit of hints of what it can be now the initial stage what you have to check is uh, once you make the soil mix the first and the most important thing is you'll have to pour water and check how soon the water tends to drain out within couple of seconds let's say within 10 seconds the water should drain out from your pot now if that happens that means that you are cleared with the first stage now the second stage is once the soil is completely wet once the water has exited from the pot check how the texture of the soil is the soil should be still very loose after touching you feel that the soil is sticky or it's getting compact uh, you will have to add a little bit of the gritty material or probably sand but let's say that after watering uh, the soil is wet but it's not sticking that means you have cleared with the second stage now the third stage is you have to check how soon your soil tends to dry if you see that your soil is drying within three to four days uh, it's completely bone dry you have cleared the third stage but let's say your soil is not drying it's been a week but the soil is still very wet very moist you'll again have to add a little bit of more gritty material or probably sand in order for the soil to dry faster but let's say that you have cleared this stage as well the next stage is to check how the texture of the soil is post it is completely bone dry is it getting compact or is it loose if it is loose you are cleared with the soil mix your entire soil mix is in a perfect condition but let's say after drying the soil is slightly compact slightly hard then again you'll have to increase the amount of grittiness or probably you can add sand now that let's say you have cleared all the stages and your soil is in the perfect condition you can add an experimental succulent in that probably a spare succulent that you have and i'm sure if you have cleared all the stages with the soil mix if you're going to plant a succulent in that i can guarantee you that the succulent is going to do extremely well so this is especially for beginners who are making the soil mix for the first time uh, if you're a person who tends to forget what you have added and how much quantity you have added you can always note it down this is just to make notes in the initial stage because once you get the experience once you get a hands-on experience on it then you definitely do not need to make notes because this is a very small test soil mix that you are going to be making and next time when you're going to make it's going to be a larger quantity so at the initial stage you can kind of write it down how much amount of garden soil you have used how much amount of gritty material you have used or how much amount of sand or perlite or pumice you have used and accordingly the next time when you're making a larger batch you can add it accordingly so guys if you are going to pre-plan things in advance things are going to work out really well and this is something that i have realized after talking to a lot of people on instagram so a lot of times people buy the succulent they put it into the soil mix uh, they are not very sure how the soil mix is going to work out they realize that later on that the soil mix is either getting compact or the soil mix is taking a really long time to dry after that they go ahead and approve the succulent and change the soil mix again 
again they are not very sure if the next soil mix is also going to be very good again there would be some more issues with the new soil mix again they are uprooted so there is going to be a multiple amount of uprooting which is not very good for a healthy succulent which is not very good for the health of the succulent because i have spoken about this multiple times succulents do not like regular repotting like our other foliage plants a lot of succulents don't even need repotting probably in two years three years or four years down the lane they don't need repotting unless the pot is very small and the roots are starting to come out from the drain hole that is the only time we tend to repot our succulent again some of my succulents they have been in the same pot for almost three years four years but i don't see them putting out any roots from the drain hole which indicates that they're still happy in that small little pot so when you tend to repot your succulents i have seen some people tend to repot their succulents at least five to six times in a month that is really really bad for the succulent's health eventually the succulent will give up the roots are going to get disturbed the roots are going to get damaged roots of the succulent are very very fragile uh, you know moving the succulent from one pot to another six to seven times in a month is definitely going to damage the succulent so be extremely careful the most important thing as i said pre-planning Having a proper setup before buying succulents is the most important thing. Apart from that, also choose a spot that you want to keep your succulent. I have also seen people buy the succulent uh, and then they start moving the succulent from one place to another because they do not know whether the succulent is doing well in that particular location. So find a permanent spot wherein the succulent is going to be resting for, I don't know, maybe another four years, five years down the lane and it does not need to be moved. If the succulent is going to be in the same position, trust me, the succulent is going to be in the best health. So guys, that's all about it. I hope that this video was helpful to you. If it was, please hit the like button. And if you're new to my channel, please consider subscribing to it. Until then, take care, stay safe and keep propagating.